Uh, All right, I want you to take a look at your screen. My next guest is opening a barber shop, increasing who has access to their insanely sharp designs. You're going to be looking at not just haircuts. I'm telling you, this is artwork. The shop opens December 1st. Look at your screen. The founders share the need for their new barber shop and how it is a growing culture in Des Moines. I mean, seriously, Gary Williams, founder and Duke the Truth, Christopher Dixon, founder of Truth Barbershop. You guys welcome. It's great to have you. Hey, thanks, thanks for having us. And the work that you do is phenomenal and you do it across different hair textures, uh, different styles. So congratulations. This Thank is December so 1st much. coming up. Uh, what's the story behind your guys' partnership? Uh, we just, you know, we met in the shop and we instantly connected. You yeah. know, we're like brothers, so we decided it was time for us to move on and start something of our own. And I asked you before the show, why do you do what you do? Ah, we love it. Yeah. <laughs> we love it. Uh, that's, and I know that's an easy answer to go with, but we truly love cutting hair. We, yeah. we love providing a service that we feel like only certain barbers, you know, provide. So. Yeah, and you think about, um, you know, barbershop culture, how important this is to a community, a growing community. Mm -hmm. You guys handle a variety of people from different backgrounds, so you really create a space that is just a vibe of inclusion and feeling good. You know, when you yes, sit down and someone sits down for a cut, you had a challenge in front of you. Right. you know, their personality, they want to feel good, they want to look good. Yes, what do you want people to experience in this new barbershop? Just we want, you know, we want people to feel like they're the celebrity when they're in our shop. Yeah. You know, we want you to feel good, we want you to leave here with a smile on your face. That's our goal. And you guys, uh, you know, the vibe that you've got, the energy that you bring, you get people coming to you saying, I won't go anywhere else. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 all the time, all the time. <laughs> and when people come in, you know, barbership is kind of like, uh, it's like therapy yeah. in oh, a way. Yeah, for sure. You know, for when sure. you got into it, I mean, you fell in love with the craft. Tell me about your journey. Um, to be honest with you, it started out something that was just for fun. Yeah. Um, but then I seen, like, how impactful it was in all the lives that I, you know, could possibly touch it just by somebody sitting in my chair mm -hmm. and just exploring like, how, hey, this guy, he makes me feel good right. as far as, yeah. you know, he listens to me. He actually care about right. my cut. So. I appreciate that so much. Being a licensed cosmetologist, there's nothing like when you find a good culture, oh, you know, yeah. in your salon, in your barbershop. Definitely. And where are you guys going to be located? Uh, 6563 University Avenue, um, Windsor Heights. And you got investors. Oh, yeah, investors. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Shout, out right, right. <laughs> you know, shout out to our guy. Shout out to our guy. What is this like for you to be going next level with your craft? It's a little nerve-wracking. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little nerve-wracking, but you know, we've been preparing for this for a long time, so we're ready to take that step. Yes, yeah. most definitely. And you guys are super accessible on oh, yeah. social media. Where yes. can people find you? I've been just like going crazy over all your designs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Instagram, you can find us on Instagram, TikTok. We both got our separate TikToks. We mm -hmm. both got our separate Instagrams, and we also have have a shop um, page as well on nice. Instagram and Facebook. So. so it's like a leap of faith oh, that yeah, you know that definitely. this is going to continue to grow the barbershop scene. Oh yeah, and anymore. then when you have a great partner and a great uh, somebody that's doing behind the business is helping us as well, yeah. you know, you can't fail. So you guys have both been through quite the journeys in your own career paths. Mm -hmm. You know, you yes, have setbacks, you have challenges. Who doesn't, right? Yeah. Oh, of course. What do you want? You know, budding entrepreneurs, kids that want to start cutting hair, they don't know where to start. Come to the shop, we'll teach you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I have no problem teaching somebody how to cut hair. Yeah. Um, no matter what, how old you are, my son's four years old and he wants to cut hair, so he has little play clippers now. And I would say, you know, take chances. Yeah. That's the biggest thing. You, you wouldn't know how great you could be at something if you don't take the chance to risk at, at it, so. Totally, truth, barbershop dropping oh, the yeah, truth. Oh yeah, true, yep. you already true. know, true. Yeah.